Emma? Thank you. Um, recently I visited Hall Chamber of Commerce and the solicitor there was explaining to me how the cuts in legal aid had actually cost the court so much more money because he says in Hull so many people are trying to represent themselves and the president of the Supreme Court said that the legal aid reforms are actually a false economy. So does the minister agree that restoring early legal advice would not only help solve some legal problems but actually save taxpayers money? Yeah. Well I understand the point the Honourable Lady is trying to make and she's made it in a very constructive way. I'm not sure that the evidence is there to back up the assertion she's made but what I would say is this, we provide a wide range of of legal help in, for example, civil and family cases. Last year we spent £100 million on that. That includes practical support, telephone helplines, which provided advice on 20,000 occasions last year. There's also online tools to make clear to people when legal aid is available, but also other sources of legal advice that are available to them. Bob Neal. When Cha 